Jaguar Cars Incorporated presents Jaguar Alignment Procedures. Superb road holding and handling have always been key elements in Jaguar's tradition of offering total performance. Today's Jaguars continue the tradition while, at the same time, providing the driver and passengers with a comfortable and quiet ride. This is accomplished by a fully independent suspension system, which takes no shortcuts in design or construction. Periodic checks to suspension and steering alignment are required to ensure that Jaguars continue to deliver outstanding road holding, handling, and ride. Technicians who carefully prepare the vehicle, follow the correct procedures, and successfully analyze irregularities are the vital link in upholding the Jaguar handling tradition over the life of the vehicle. Vehicle preparation is the first step toward an accurate alignment service. A careful check of the front and rear suspension should be made to identify worn or damaged components which must be repaired or replaced before making any alignment checks. Check for torn gaiters and ball joint boots. Check for ball joint, tie rod, and bushing wear at the front. At the rear, inspect all bushings and bearings for wear. And check all six shock absorbers for leakage and security of mounting. Road hazard or accident damage to suspension components can make it impossible to achieve the correct alignment settings. If there is any doubt, dimensions should be compared to those found in the workshop manual. Wheel bearing condition and adjustment should be verified. This applies to both the front and rear wheels. At the rear, remove the wheels and check for wear by applying hand pressure to the hub carriers. The correct method for adjusting the front wheel bearings is with the use of a dial indicator. Adjust to achieve one to three thousandths of an inch end play. Tire and wheel condition should be determined as well as ensuring that both meet specification. Tires must conform to the specifications shown on the information label under the vanity mirror. And wheels must be original equipment only. Caution. Incorrect tires and wheels can create a safety hazard as well as affect alignment settings and vehicle road holding and handling. Tires should be inflated to the correct pressures as shown on the tire information label. Also, check the tire tread depth and wear patterns. Abnormal wear patterns can indicate an over or under inflation problem. An alignment problem such as incorrect toe setting or a balance problem which could cause uneven or patchy wear. Wheel balancing should be carried out on equipment which dynamically balances the assembly. Radial tires should not be mounted so that their direction of rotation is changed. To do so can cause internal damage to the tire. Never cross switch tires, move from front to rear only. After making any necessary repairs to the suspension system, and determining that the tires and wheels are in good condition, the ride height should be checked next before proceeding to check alignment angles. Correct front and rear ride height is essential to good road holding, handling, and ride. Because the suspension undergoes minor geometry changes as it moves through its range of travel, 
An incorrect ride height will result in incorrect geometry for a specific vehicle load. Ride height is checked with the vehicle in the curb condition. This means full fuel tanks, correct fluid levels, and only the spare wheel and tools in the trunk. Tire pressure and specification will have previously been checked. Measurement can be made on a level floor surface, but it is preferable to use sliding wheel plates at all four wheels. Once situated on the sliding plates, press down on the front and rear bumpers and gently release. Measure the ride height as shown on the reference card and compare to the specifications. Be sure to subtract the thickness of the sliding wheel plates. Adjustment at the front is accomplished by adding or removing packings from either end of the springs. Each packing will change the ride height by 5 sixteenths of an inch. Before removing the spring, determine the necessary addition or subtraction of packings. The maximum number of packings must not exceed five for each spring, consisting of two above and three below the spring. If necessary, replace the spring and recheck. Adjustment to rear ride height is accomplished by changing all four springs as a set. Before doing this, double check the condition of all bushings and bearings. Excessive wear at these points will result in a low reading. Attention to detail during vehicle preparation is very important and will help to ensure an accurate alignment service. Now, let's turn our attention to alignment checking procedures. The equipment necessary to check Jaguar alignment must be capable of measuring four-wheel alignment. And sliding wheel plates at all four wheels are necessary to enable accurate measurement of the fully independent suspension. Periodic recalibration of equipment is necessary to ensure continued accurate results. Jaguar alignment is checked with the vehicle in the mid-laden condition. This requires the use of special tools BLT-5023 and BLT-5024. After the vehicle is situated on the alignment rack and resting on the sliding wheel plates, install the special tools as you compress the suspension. Fit the front tubes under the upper wishbones. And fit the rear hooks between the rear mounting and pivot nut. The front wheels must be set straight ahead and held in this position by inserting centering pin BLT1058 in the steering rack grease fitting or blanking plug bore. Caution. Be sure the pin fits freely into the rack center detent and do not move the steering with the pin installed. Specifications for all alignment angles are shown on the reference card as well as the latest technical service bulletins. Caster is checked on the front wheels only. A thorough understanding of your alignment equipment is essential to achieving accurate results. Caster adjustment is accomplished by transferring shims at the upper wishbone. Transferring one shim will result in a caster angle change of approximately one quarter of a degree or 15 minutes. Camber is checked on both the front and rear wheels. It is important to first correct the alignment equipment for wheel runout to ensure an accurate camber reading. 
front camber is adjusted by adding or removing shims at the upper wishbone pivot shaft. Shims are available in three thicknesses, 1 32nd, 1 16th, and 1 8th of an inch. A 1 16th inch shim thickness changes the camber one quarter of a degree or 15 minutes. An equal thickness of shims must be placed at each point to prevent a change to the caster angle. Rear camber is adjusted by adding or removing shims between the brake discs and the drive shaft flanges. Each shim will again vary the camber angle by one quarter of a degree or 15 minutes. Tire wear patterns can give an indication of incorrect camber settings. Excessive negative camber causes inner tread wear. Excessive positive camber causes outer tread wear. Toe in, toe out is also checked at the front and rear. Front toe settings must be equaled from side to side so that one half of the specified total toe is applied to each front wheel. Adjustment is accomplished by turning the steering tie rods. Be sure to loosen the clips on the gaiters to prevent damage while turning the tie rods. If the rear toe falls out of the specification, component wear or damage is indicated. Repair or replace as necessary, then recheck the toe setting. Tire wear patterns can also give an indication of incorrect toe settings. Feather edge wear toward the inside or the outside will occur. At this point, with the centralizing pin installed, the steering wheel should be checked and centered if necessary. Be sure to remove the centralizing pin afterwards. Also, remove the suspension compression tools. Toe out on turns can be checked by placing the front wheels on turn tables. Turn the inner wheel to 20 degrees. Then read the value on the outer wheel scale. It should be less than 20 degrees. Repeat the procedure in the opposite direction. Both outer wheel readings should be equal. It is possible to have all alignment angles set correctly and still have a road holding, handling, or tire wear problem because of other factors. If significant adjustment is required or the alignment specification cannot be met, further investigation should be made. All suspect components should be dimensionally checked using the workshop manual drawings and replaced if necessary. The thrust axis of the vehicle must be considered regardless of the alignment procedure outcome. Thrust axis is the drive angle of the rear wheels. With all component and chassis dimensions in specification, the thrust axis will fall on the center line of the vehicle providing normal handling, tracking, and tire wear. The angles on either side of the thrust axis are always equal. If the chassis has been damaged moving the rear suspension to one side, the thrust axis will be offset to one side. Unequal rear toe will also offset the thrust axis. Here, the right rear wheel is towed out because of damage creating an offset to the right. When the thrust axis does not fall on the center line, the vehicle will tend to travel in a circle, requiring the driver to turn the steering wheel in order to steer straight ahead. Both electronic and mechanical equipment is available to measure thrust axis. The importance of this measurement cannot be overstated. Providing that all components are in good condition and dimensionally correct, 
deviations in thrust axis are caused by chassis misalignment. Chassis alignment checks require the use of specialized equipment and should be performed only by those capable of carrying out this type of work. Specifications are contained in the appropriate workshop manual. Because both the front and rear suspensions are mounted on subframes, damage to the subframes must also be considered. By carefully following the procedures shown here, Jaguar technicians can be certain of performing a complete alignment service. Accurate alignment, however, depends on thorough preparation, correct calibration, and skilled use of the alignment equipment. This completes Jaguar Alignment Procedures, another Performance Master's Service Training Program.